Thelam Steel Plant is a prestigious organization comes under the roof of Steel Authority of India Limited. It is the only special steel plant in the country. It produces the stainless steel for the requirement of uh, Indian citizens. This company has been started during the year 1981 and for the past four decades it has been successfully organized and operated. This company has the pride of its own brand name Salem Stainless. It is a royalty and it is known worldwide. We have supplied almost 1,60,000 tons of stainless steel for Indian railways, for wagon manufacturing as well as uh, passenger cargoes. And we have supplied to the Indian government mint. Almost the Salem steel pan coins dwells in the places and houses of all the Indians. The recent Modi government has stopped procuring stainless steel coins instead of they have gone to paper currencies. So the entire segment of stainless steel coin became obsolete and we have supplied to the most technically sound ISRO, DRDO as well as our stainless steel is revolving around this universe in Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2, Mangalyaan. And the recent achievement of 104 satellites, we used to supply the cryogenic fuel tank material from Salem Steel Plant. And almost all the Indian railways is made of Salem stainless steel. We were exporting to almost 37 countries. Now the entire export sector is being abolished. Now the government policies have changed and drastically affected the economy of Indian steel industry. They have stopped the subsidies that we are providing to our companies. Now, the dumping from US, China and Korea has drastically injured the domestic players, especially for the government sector, the public sectors who are coming under the roof of Ministry of Steel. Salem Steel Plan has a unique capacity of making its own raw material for hot rolling and cold rolling mill. The work culture in Salem Steel Plant is also unique. The average age of workers is 46 and the average qualification is more than metric. And many Prime Minister awards and Shram awards are being awarded for workers of Salem Steel Plant every year. They are, we are competing with all the major public sectors in the country. The non-restriction of imports and dumping of materials exclusively for stainless steel sector has majorly affected the stainless steel manufacturing. And the corporate policies of the ruling BJP government has also drastically affected the Indian economy. And Salem steel plant had suffered a lot for this uh, anti-dumping policies of the government. The government needs to provide a minimum import price for stainless steel, which is totally absent since 2016. The government has decided to hand over Salem steel plant for the sake of some individual corporates like Jindal, Tata, Nadani, Ambani and so on. The company as a land capacity of 3,970 acres. It was donated for the growth of the country by 3,003 families. By that time, they have been paid on like 1,500 rupees per acre. They have dreamed that the company will excel and they will get employment from the company. That has not happened. Government has given only 242 employment out of those 303 Farmers. Now, Salem Steel Plant is a cash cow under the umbrella of sale. It has the pot potential to excel. The government is trying to suppress the activities of Salem Steel Plant by means of collecting hefty interest packages. During 2010, we have modernized and we have converted our plant as a reverse integration process, and the plant has become the integrated steel plant. Our steel melting shop has a capacity of 1,80,000 tons production per annum which caters to 
hot rolling mill which has the capacity of 364000 tons per annum and cold rolling mill where the final product is produced has the capacity of 146000 ton per annum the workers of salem steel plant are dedicated we used to commit towards excellence it is known from the past we have operated all the capacities to the installed capacities so the workers are ready to work the government is not ready to run the plant the dream of the farmers and the labor as being totally demolished by this anti people anti worker bjp government salem steel plant as the renowned name for its brand equity salem stainless now the jindal is taking advantage to acquire this plant because we are the only competitor for them the market share is being completely held by jindal and the second leader is salem steel plant so they do, they want to acquire this plant to bring down their cost and to bring down their uh, competition now the bjp government has opened the doors for foreign producers in india chromeny steel is a company which has been inaugurated by home minister this 15th july so it has now become a threat to jindal also so jindal has uh, made a price reduction for the tune of 5000 to 10000 rupees per ton to make its uh, to ensure its uh, uh, presence in the indian market so the government is not at all supporting for the indian players as well as the government player the threat for this private uh, by this privatization is once the salem steel plant has been sold to a private player then the stainless steel market in india will become monopoly the laborers and their uh, future is also in quest and the sacrifice made by the farmers will also be in a uh, quest so it is very much necessary to run this company as a public sector to utilize the natural resources of this country for the people of india and to maintain the social justice and to maintain the employment as well as economic development